Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Malcolm from the Storm Podcast, and we are here with a D Spirits unboxing video. Now, I don't know if you guys know, we absolutely love this new game, D Spirits, by Sterling Cartoons. There are a lot of things that make me happy. Money makes me happy. Podcasting makes me happy. Food makes me happy. But nothing makes me happier than when we get a new pack of D Spirits in the mail and we get to open these. Y'all don't understand how much we love this game. We've been playing this game for like the last month, month and a half. Two months. And we've played it probably damn near every single day yes, sir. since we've gotten it. Originally, Sterling sent us the cards, you know, test the game, do a little promotion, all of that. But we actually ended up falling in love with the game and playing it every single day. We talked to Sterling about it. We have so much fun with this game. It's awesome. And as y'all can see, like, we've started our own D-Spirits collections. Like, I got pages upon pages of D-Spirits. As do I. I. Honestly, it's possible that we have the most D-Spirits out of anybody in the world. I think so. I have more than you, so that would mean I have the most D-Spirits out of anybody in the world. Except for Sterling, of course. Yeah. I feel like Sterling obviously has more. But not to mention our own personal collections. We bought card-carrying cases. We love this game. So, we just got the starter packs in. I'm, I'm so hyped to open this. I'm excited to open it, show you guys what we get, and play each other with these new cards. So let's go ahead and get it open. Big thanks to Starling Cartoons. That man is awesome. Anytime we have a question about the game or anything, he even sent us some, we asked him and he sent us signed cards. Oh yeah. I forgot that. Let me show the people those. He even sent over, I don't know if you guys can see these. He signed cards himself, sent them over to us. We're gonna get these framed and put them up in the studio. It's about to be awesome. Sure I'm excited. Is. Oh, it's a box? It's a box, yeah. All the other ones we've gotten before, we gotten boosters before. These are the starter pack. The boosters come in the, the, the plastic. Yeah. This is a box. This is legit. Oh man. So there are two, as of right now, there are two starter packs. There's the da it's two of the main characters. There's the Damien starter pack. Atlas. And the Atlas starter pack. The Damien starter pack comes with one of the brand mascots, Gayu. The Atlas starter pack comes with the brand, what's the opposite of a protagonist? Antagonist? Yeah. One of the brand antagonists. Gangert. Gangert. This is nice. The front of the pack. This is, I'm liking this. The back. It's got the custom back. Yeah. It's time to deep battle. Jump into battle using some of Damien's favorite D Spirits card. This deck contains 31 cards. 15 D Spirits, 15 Signal and Signs card, and lastly, Damien's soulmate, Ganger. Gayu. No, Ganger is everyone's soulmate. The best card. Oh, it comes in a. Comes with a laminate on it. Ooh, fancy Gayu. I'm already had that Gayu. I'm thinking about buying the Gayu plushie. I might buy it and set it up with us while we do the podcast. This is nice. This is nice. All right. Uh, you want to go, ooh, wait a minute, it's in the plastic? That's nice. Hmm. All right, let's go one by one and open the cards up. You want to go first or you want me to go first? Uh, you can go first. All right, bet. All right, just open the pack up. Let's get started. First, we got Squiggy. I don't think me or Vermilly have this one. It's I'm ready to get started. Jesus, 2000 versus Rubble? That's nice. Vermilly loves rubble types. Batsu, that's a new one. Catechus. You have this one? I have one. Oh, I don't have this one. Is it good? No, not in one second. Oh no, you have Batsu. So you have one of the components. Okay. And you have you have two of the components. Okay. That's not good. Phantom. You have Phantom? At any time, Phantom can be super decent into the deck or feel the Phantom is defeated in battle after. Okay, alright. Rugby, a classic. Yeah. I think I have like three rugbeats already. Hedge Edge, I have a Hedge Edge already. Cam Yule, I think I have a Cam Yule. 
If I don't, Vermilion does. Ooh, Donsor. Donsor can attack a D Spirit with 1500 or more power. Donsor. Oh! That's nice. Okay. Embird. I have an Embird already. Froggy. I already have a Froggy. That's Knuckle Slice. That's one of the Any D Spirits that. This is one of the Elite cards. I remember seeing it on the website. Any D Spirit that Knuckle Slice targets that is enduring is auto destroyed. That's nice. I like this. I think I can make this work. Amos. This one's not holographic. Interesting. I have a holographic Amos. Yeah. I'm hmm. I wonder what that means. <gasps> you got yes. Wow. Yes. You guys do not understand how excited I am. I've wanted a Nephil since before we even opened our first packs. I am ecstatic right now i thank god yes stance change this is one of vermilly's favorites another stance change hopeful summon another hopeful summon <gasps> negate and destroy this is vermilly's favorite no, Ooh, no, no. vermilly loves this Not signal and sign i can finally use it against him recovery i have one of these another recovery comeback that's a two comebacks that's a good one to have Two seal blockage. I think I have three seal blockages already. Halo copter. Select one D spirit with 300 spirit can attack your opponent. Okay, this is a good one. I can use this. Two miracle shields. I have these already. And two spirit breaks. I have those already. Overall, this was a pretty good draw. I am just hyped that I got a Nephil. Y'all don't understand how much I've wanted this card. Since the day these spirits came out, and I finally got... I might not even use it. I might just frame it. Wow. I love this car. And I'm about to plushie, too, to go with it. Now I have Gaiyu and Nephil. Both of the brand mascots together. I will not be beaten in battle. About to lose your first game. Oh, wait. This is signed. This Gaiyu is signed. Where? Right here on the corner. Yeah, is Gengar signed? No. <laughs> wow. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the villain's deck. <laughs> Atlas. The villain. I couldn't be more proud. Starting with Gengar. Look at how godly it looks. Unsigned Gengar. <laughs> okay, hater. All right, let's get this open. I want to keep this in good condition. It's going to be worth some one day. Facts. And time to struggle with the plastic for 45 minutes. <laughs> I need you to help me with this. <laughs> Why do I have to help you? Are you a it child? Will, it will take forever. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Starting with Ravenger. A card that I'm very familiar with. I got this recently. Good card. Aeroglant. Classic. I've got an Aeroglant. Nice card. I don't have this one. Bullmite. Any D spirit on your opponent's might. field is attempting to switch out is destroyed. Okay, interesting. Mm. This is Chris's, uh, one of Chris's staples, Kanaji. Never seen it before, but I'm going to play it. Good one, good one. Sharknivorous, a classic. Sharknivorous, got this guy. Classic. Gasp in your first deck? Gasp in my first deck. I like this guy. Now, this. This is a newer edition. We've seen this one on the website recently, and I, I like it a lot. Look at that. Fantastic design. Ooh. Gekon. It's a nice little shield right there. Gekon can be super desummoned from the deck at any time, even during the battle step. 150 SP. Ooh, Fiendful. That's another good one. This is on the website. That's a good one. Yeah. Fiendful can be super desummoned from the deck to the field at any time, but this counts as your allotted regular summon. If Fiendfield was Fiendful was summoned using this ability, it must go to the D-roll at the end of the turn. If Fiendful was defeated in battle after two of your turns, Fiendful can return to the field. It's a good one. Pretty cool. Paradox Dude, a favorite of mine. Classic. Can't go without him. Lamb Chop, <laughs> not a favorite of mine or anyone else. Ooh, Slam Witch. Slam, this one looks cool. Great design. Slamwitch can swap its power and endurance stats at any time during the battle step. This ability can only be used once per turn. Stats must be remained 
swapped until they are swapped again. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Bison. When Bison destroys an opponent's D spirit, your opponent loses additional SP based on the difference of points in battle. <laughs> Seems pretty cool. Gorgoyle, I got this one. Mm. Interesting. Starlight. Starlight, never seen this before. When Starlight is summoned, your opponent loses 300 SP. At the end of each of your turns following this one, your opponent loses an additional 300 SP if Starlight remains on the field. Jeez. Pretty cool. Hopeful summon. Don't have this. Negate and destroy. Your favorite. Got an additional one. Send for help. Your favorite. Redirect. Finally. Finally. I've been looking for this. I have some send for helps. Shuffle artillery. That's a new Return all the cards in your hand to each respective deck and draw the same amount of cards again. That's a good one. Two seal blockages. Ooh, that's a good one. Drag you with me. Good send one D spirit from your deck to the D world and select one card from your opponent's hand and select it, send it to the D world. Two of those. And these. I needed these. Mm, two no way out. That's a good one. It's going to change the game. When your opponent plays a signal, negate that ability and the signal is destroyed. I'm happy. Good hands, good hands. I'm happy. All right, bet. We are super ecstatic to have gotten these starter packs. I can't even really explain how hyped I am, especially for this card right here, man. This card, I've been wanting this card for since the shit started. I think opening my first deck, I was like, man, I hope I get enough fill in. And I finally got one. This is definitely going to be the cornerstone of my deck. What's your favorite card that you got? Let me see. Me is definitely Nephil. A close second is probably this uh, trio. The Penwin, <laughs> Catechus, and Batsu combo. These are going to be dangerous. This is definitely going to become a, this is gonna become a good strategy that I'm going to incorporate into my deck. I'm going to have to take it back to the drawing board. I'm thinking maybe Starlight. Starlight looks like it's going to do some it's going to do some good damage over time. I'm going to find a way to take it out though. We'll see. I have redirect. I got some good uh I got some good signals and signs. Comeback is a great one to have. Another recovery is also a good. I think I have did I have two recoveries? I can't remember. I think you have four now. Yeah, I think I have four recoveries now, but you can only put two in the deck. Negate and destroy. That's a great one. Um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to this. My deck is gonna change. There's definitely gonna be some. Uh, there's definitely gonna be some edits in my deck in the coming days. Me too. But I'd like to issue a challenge. If any D Spirits player would like to challenge either of us, well, I don't know if Ramilly's about it. You about that action? What's the uh, What's the challenge? Play us and see if you can beat us. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I'm definitely in the top percentile of D-Spirits players. I play this game, shit, damn near once a day, every day, and I need some new opponents. So, if you're a D-Spirits player, hit me up. We can get on, I don't know, Zoom, do it over to the where, wherever, maybe even on IG Live. But I'm definitely excited to play more people in D-Spirits and excited to use this new deck and destroy this guy a billion times. Well, if you can beat him... Hit me up, then you're ready for me. Oh, well, then nobody's going to hit you up because no one's going to beat me. Oh, uh, well, I'll remain the master then. I can beat you any day of the week. Let's see it now. I'll beat you right after this. Let's see it now then. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Shoot me.